Hi, my name's Danny Fleming of the MA Properties team. So today I'm going to talk about how long will my home be on the market. So I get this question a lot. Um, I have to say a lot. What does it depend on? Okay, it depends on how realistically you price your home, um, to be fair. Uh, that's exactly what it depends on. Um, if you overprice, well, now let me go on to if you, uh, let me first talk about if you realistically price your home. Um, we've been in a seller's market now for about nine years, um, quite a long time. Homes that, that are priced realistically typically come on the market on a Thursday and then maybe the Tuesday morning we plan to review offers. If a home's been priced realistically, it'll get offers on the Tuesday. So that means it's on the market the well on the market the Thursday, but you know you may not bring it on the market until three o'clock in the afternoon. So really it's on the market the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and review offers on the Tuesday morning. So that's a manageable amount for folks. Um, that is, that's a manageable amount um, for folks, especially if you've got young children or if you've got a um, dog or a cat or something like that, because the longer the home is on the market, the more you get very tired of keeping the house clean and getting the, the dog organized and getting, you know, all of this sort of stuff. But what happens when you price realistically and you get competing offers on the Tuesday is it's a bit of a buzz for the sellers because there's a few people that really want to buy my house. Fantastic, because it makes you feel good. You've been living in your home for, you know, it's your home and there's emotions involved with your home and everything like this. So when, when people want to buy it, that feels really, really good. When you overprice your home, um, which you can absolutely do, um, and you should be getting a market analysis, a thorough market analysis for your home, when one that goes into detail, is accurate, detailed, um, you know, comprehensive, tells you what's going on with the market as well, gives you a range, you know, all of that sort of stuff. You should get one of those. Um, your agent should be providing one of those. And you should, you can price it over that market value range. It's your call, your house. If you price over that um, market value range, then, then what will happen is the, the buyers, the buyers who are looking in your price range go week after week after week looking at houses in your price range. Um, they may have made offers on other houses and missed out. Um, but they have gone and seen every home in, in the town that you're looking in at that price range. They've seen every home that's on the market. Um, they've seen which homes sell um, in that price range. They've seen which homes are overpriced in that price range. So they are very, very educated as to what they can buy in that price range. So when you overprice your home, they will know almost immediately that it's been overpriced and the home will stay on the market day after day after day after day. So you might sort of say, well, okay, what's wrong with that? If I get my price, what's wrong? I can have my home on the market for two months. I don't care. I think that way I'll get more buyers to come in and see it. The impact is quite dramatic. Let me just show you a graph that will show what that is. So this is real data. This is real data. Um, and you'll see, and, and this is days on the market versus the sale price to list price ratio. And what we mean by the sale price to list price ratio, let's say your home comes on the market for 700,000 and sells for 700,000. That's 100% sale price to list price ratio. If it sells higher than 700, then that's over 100% sale price 
And conversely, if it sells under 700, that's selling for below 100%. So you can see your 100% line is here. And you'll see that at the very beginning, which is the weekend or you know within those first four or five days, you'll see that a lot of homes um, sell for over the asking price, over the 100% data. Uh, price, the sale price to list price ratio. The longer you're on the market, this, this bottom axis is days on the market. The longer you're on the market, the trend line continues to go down. So now there are a couple of outliers here that sold after a period of time that sold over the asking price, but those were new construction. Um, they were on the market, um, the house hadn't been finished yet, the buyer ended up buying the home but wanted the basement finished as well or wanted the third floor finished as well. So the builder has done additional to the home and it sold for over the asking price. But you'll see the trend line that the longer you're on the market, um, the lower the price is. So uh, the, the lower the sale price to list price ratio. So the, the question of how long will my home be on the market for, it depends. Don't you love that answer? It depends. You will get the highest price if your home is on the market for maybe five days, no more than five days. Once you've missed that, once you've gone past that first weekend and you're now into the second weekend, um, you will not get the asking price. So you, you typically won't get the asking price. So a buyer will come in maybe at the asking price and below. The third weekend they're coming in lower than the asking price. So the, the best opportunity you have to get asking price or more is that first weekend, which is why it's so important to have everything ready when you come on the market. Too often I see um, homes come into MLS um, on a Thursday photos coming soon. There's no photos about the home. Um, and then finally Sunday afternoon there's some photos added to the home. The agent wasn't prepared, the home wasn't ready and they've missed that critical time which is that first weekend to get the highest price for the home because they had no digital media. Or we'll see homes come on the market and you know um, say open houses. Um, a home comes on the market on Thursday and no showings before the first open house on Sunday. So important <laughs> when you come on the market you're ready because those first four or five days are critical to getting the highest price and if you've done it right you've prepped the home, we've staged the home, we've marketed the home with ad campaigns, all of this sort of stuff. Um, your home will be on the market for four or five days um, before it has an accepted offer. If we've priced wrong, it's going to be on longer. So I can't give you a definitive answer as to how long your home will be on the market for because it's all dependent on the price that the seller chooses um, to come on the market at. So anyway, I love talking about this sort of stuff. Um, if you'd like to contact me and chat about things and all of that sort of stuff, love to talk um, because I could go on for hours about this. I promise I won't go on <laughs> for hours about this. You won't have, you, your eyes won't glaze over, hopefully. I'll be watching for your eyes glazing over and then I'll stop. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, we could do it on Zoom. I love Zoom. Um, reach out.